I'm Melissa Fitzgerald and I'm going to talk about um, teaching writing as a process versus um, emphasizing writing as a product. Um, the way that you develop your writing skills shapes your thinking skills. So um, slowing down to write something out helps you have enough time to think it through oftentimes. And if you cannot write clearly about a topic, um, there's a good chance that you're not thinking very clearly about it yet either. Um, so the way we learn through the writing process is called writing to learn. There are other writing to learn activities, but the one I'm going to focus on today is writing to learn through the writing process. When students are younger, um, they're taught a very linear writing process where you pre-write, organize, draft, edit, and publish. Um, and you always move from one step to the next. But as students get older and their writing assignments become more complicated and their topics are um, more involved, that writing process doesn't really hold up. Uh, so William Strong came up with the recursive writing process, um, which reflects more of what students do in college and graduate work. Um, and it means that to move forward in writing, improving the content or form, writers typically have to move backwards to earlier steps. In other words, careful academic writing isn't usually a one-draft endeavor. Um, so that's a, a good thing to pass along to students, that great academic writing is not a one-draft endeavor where you just have to usually fix a couple grammatical things and it's ready to get turned in, but the editing process is substantive. substantive. Um, um, when you're in the earlier steps of the writing process, um, William Strong calls it uh, shaping up and then later shipping out. But during the editing process, you might find out there's a hole in the research or this idea is not um, as supported as fully as I hoped it would be. I need to go back and regenerate more content in the researching or um, the pre-writing stages. <coughs> um, and that that process of filling in the gaps or developing things further. That's where the real learning is happening and the, um, the part of why writing is such a great academic tool for learning something thoroughly. Um, uh, now, if you do an activity with me, I'll give you a little bit of time. I'd like for you to think of uh, your biggest challenge in a recent writing assignment or endeavor. You can write it down or just think of it. A lot of people's greatest challenge in writing or greatest complaint about it comes from the writing process, even when people are happy with their final product. Um, so focusing on um, ways to make the experience of writing better for students and um, less frustrating uh, not only will it make that a better experience for them, but their writing will benefit in the end. I recently um, asked this question to a friend of mine who is in college, and her greatest challenge was finding articles that talked about the subject she needed for her paper. And I was able to have a very beneficial conversation with her about which databases she was using and what research strategies she was having. Um, and what I hope you take away from that is that the discussions we have with our students about the writing process oftentimes are very um, important interpersonal interactions. So either talking to a student about their own writing or the writing of a student who they write like that student, um, if you're doing a, a class-wide activity. Um, in order to teach the writing process well, uh, discussions are of primary importance. Um, just lecturing about writing doesn't often help students get much better. Um, Patricia Leans and her colleagues came up with mnemonic devices um, for uh, students to use to ask themselves questions in the editing process to make their writing better. Um, and another important thing to discuss with students is when is a product done? So, even when you're emphasizing writing as a process versus just a final product, um, I mean, as important as the learning that happens on the way there is, the final product still needs to be a student's best effort. Um, McLaren Pedretti did research on when students 
determine a, a product is done, and they, they coined the term doneness, and we want students to think that a product is done once it's met their legitimate writing goals. So whether that's found in a rubric or writing expectations that are set out by um, a professor or even by themselves, we want the idea of being done to be um, tied to objective um, criteria. Students will sometimes <clears throat> be tempted to think that something is done because it reached a word count or they read through their draft and they thought, oh, that's pretty good and I think it sounds good, I'll, I'll just send it in now um, or publish it now. But one of the best things we can do for our students is teach them to circle back to the writing prompt to ask themselves questions of how well their claims are supported, how, um, how effective their organizational strategy is, and to look at the best criteria, criteria for um, what constitutes a finished product. Um, the discussions that we have with students after they've finished a product um, I would still consider those post-process discussions part of the process. Um, the St. Martin's Guide to Teaching Writing um, has a really great um, set of examples, uh, things to say to students to help them analyze their own work after they've already finished it. Um, students uh, benefit from asking or being asked, uh, where is the main idea most clearly stated in your paper uh, according to your your take on it, or um, what were you surprised about in writing this? Um, those post-process discussions benefit students um, in a similar way to other discussions about earlier stages in the process. Um, so in conclusion, I hope that you remember that the writing process is where a lot of learning happens and understandings developed, and that an improved writing process actually leads to um, an improved writing product in addition to helping students avoid frustration in, in the writing process. And um, not to forget the final steps of the writing process, um, which is deciding when the product is done and engaging in post-process discussions. Thank you.